Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also filmed this series talking about all things branding and marketing and social media and so, so much more. So for this video, I wanted to talk about something that literally is kind of the foundation to building any type of personal brand or any kind of brand online and it's something that I really struggled with for absolute years like the fear of doing this kind of thing held me back for so many years so I feel like it's a really key aspect of business to talk about. So when it comes to building any kind of brand you need to have a story and I really struggled with this when it came to my own brand because obviously when you're building a personal brand it's completely different to a business when it's some kind of product or something there's a story behind why you've created that product why it exists what it is and all of that so it's kind of easy to create a story for any kind of product but when you are the product when your music is the product or whatever kind of service it is that you offer when it's about yourself I found that really difficult in myself to be the story because of fear and self-doubt and like fear of what people would think and that kind of thing. But literally, if you are the personal brand, then you obviously need to have a story. And at the same time, it's not complicated because your whole life is a story. So even though it sounds kind of scary to think about the fact that you are the brand and you are the story, your story is your life like your story is you but a lot of people that we see in the public eye and not being themselves they're holding up a mask or they've created a fake persona or something and so the story that they're telling is like a manufactured one but I really feel like the easiest one to tell is literally just yourself it's your own authentic story because it's something that you live every single day so it's not difficult to create because you're literally living it. You're creating it every day by living it, you know? So when it came to building my own brand, I held myself back with that a lot because in order to know what your story is, you have to know to some degree who you are. You have to know what you stand for, what your morals are, what your values are. And like, you have to have an opinion on the world to then be able to share that with everyone. Like when you look on social media, even at people that aren't building a brand, even just like normal people on Facebook, like your family and your friends, they're still sharing their perception, they're sharing their opinion. So they're standing for something. And that's exactly what a personal brand is. You're standing for something and the easiest way to do that the easiest thing to stand for is something that actually feels right to you something that you actually believe in otherwise it's going to feel like a draining nightmare if you're having to create something that doesn't feel good to you you know and we're not like if you're trying to build your own personal brand and your own business then chances are you want to create something that you actually enjoy something that you actually love and not just for money otherwise it literally will feel like working a normal nine to five that you didn't like before it's going to feel exactly the same as that so because this whole world is literally based upon opinion all you're doing when you create a personal brand is just expressing your opinion you're just being yourself you're just literally sharing who you are and your life Life and what you're doing and then it can f no peanut <laughs> my cat's like rubbing up the microphone like what the fuck um <laughs> he probably distracted me so you just yeah so you're literally just focusing it around whatever service it is that you have to offer but it's also about your life and about who you are because people buy into people and not necessarily products you know and I'd also like to add that this is not manipulation like it's not a tactic in order to get people to like you even though I guess you could kind of perceive it that way but what you're really doing is just being yourself when it becomes like a tactic or a negative thing is when you're not being yourself and you're putting up a mask and you're getting people to buy into something that's not real and not true and it's like built upon a lie but when it actually is you and it is yourself then literally all you're doing is just sharing who you are and those that resonate will find you and those that don't Will probably find you too but they'll move along you know and they'll go off to the people that they actually do resonate with so 
it's really really powerful but also really important when you're building a personal brand to make it authentic and share who you are so literally ask yourself like who am i what's my story what things have i been through in my life that i can share that will help other people that have also been through those things like it's literally self-awareness becoming aware of who you are becoming aware of your circumstances and like what you have around you, what you have at your disposal when it comes to building your brand and your business or whatever it is that you're doing and being able to share that with people in a way that feels good to you, like the kind of content that you create in a way that feels good to you instead of just creating content to go viral and creating things that don't actually feel good or mean anything or matter to you you know so with my own brand for example I have always been really passionate about self-care and self-help and mental health as well as then further down the line I started getting into like the food industry and things like that and the corruption that goes on in the government and the world and then after that I got into spirituality and metaphysics and like ancient Egyptian teachings and things that they knew in ancient cultures and stuff so all of those things are things that I naturally was drawn to and naturally got into so it makes sense that I would then sit here and film videos and create content and talk about those things because they're something that I'm really passionate about but if you weren't passionate about it then there would be absolutely no point making content talking about them because like it would not come from your heart it would not be authentic people would be able to see that you don't actually care about what you're talking about and I mean you wouldn't even be able to share a real opinion on it because you wouldn't actually be interested in it anyway you know so you have to just literally pick things that you are passionate about and things that matter to you and things that are a part of you it could be something that you're already doing right now something that you're already interested in you already do you already focus on and then you can just share that online, you know? So it can literally be anything. Maybe you're interested in cooking, maybe you're interested in fitness and working out. Whatever it is, it's a natural part of you because it's something that you love. And then when you create a brand around that and a brand around who you are, people will be drawn to you that resonate and are interested in the same things, you know? You don't want people to come to you that don't actually vibe with what you're saying and what you're sharing and who you are. Because what would be the point in that? You want people that are actually on the same wave. And this is how you can easily meet your soul tribe too. Like a lot of people that I have connected with online, they're not people that I've ever met in real life and never knew in real life. But now we're building friendships and things because we're actually on the same wave. We care about the same things. Like that's just the incredible thing about being online so it's just really really important to be authentic for your own sanity as well as for the success of your business is to just oh, do things that you love there's no point doing things that aren't real and that aren't true it's just a complete waste of time and it will not be as successful as just being yourself and nobody else is you so you have the advantage like you're not boring nobody else is you so your perspective is a new perspective it's something that you can share because it's coming from your heart and your body and your emotions you know and your form of expression and nobody else has that so we need to just be ourselves and stop holding ourselves back because i did fear that as well i feared putting myself out there because I felt like it's not good enough, it's not relevant enough, it's controversial or like people won't be interested in what I'm interested in but there really is tons of people that will be interested in what you have to say and what you have to offer, you just have to believe in yourself and trust in yourself and go for it honestly you just have to take the leap and go for it and also know that it's going to take time and it's not just going to gain a million subscribers or a million followers in one go it takes time it takes consistency and it takes effort but because you're being authentic and you're sharing things that you love it doesn't feel like work and you're willing to put the work in because you enjoy it and it's something that you really want to express and you want to share and you want to create so I hope this video was helpful and I'm definitely going to make more videos on this specific topic as well as so many others because this is something that's just really 
important to me and I'm really passionate about and I will also go further into self-doubt and stuff but I do have some videos talking about that already on my YouTube if you want to go and check them out but I will be making more because it's something that we all deal with and something that I still struggle with now so I'm always learning new perspective so yes I hope this video was helpful and don't forget to check out the description box below for all links to my music social media my phone number my website and everything else about me will be listed in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh yeah, think you like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like in my range all white. Oh yeah, think you might. I'm the thing you like in my range all white.